Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the nominal cracking moment at 28 days. And we're looking at the case for when it's sagging. Just to, to demonstrate what properties we're going to be using. So because we're finding the cracking moment, it might be counterintuitive, we're going to be using the uncrack properties. But the reason is, is because just before it cracks, it's obviously uncracked. Okay, so it's uncracked, 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 and then it cracks. So just before the point of cracking, we, it's uncracked, so we have to use those properties. Uh, the FC dash was 50 MPA. The I uncracked for sagging at 28 days was 2.44 times 10 to the 9. Just, we did that in previous videos, we calculated that. 2.44 times 10 to the 9. Showing you our structure, our T-beam. The centroid was at 112.6 from the top. We also found that in previous videos. And this was the dimensions, 1,200, 100, 300, 200. So the cracking moment's gonna occur when the concrete uh, is in tension, okay? Concrete, the concrete can't do well in tension, so it's first gonna crack uh, in the extreme tensile fiber down here. Sorry, if we're sagging, yep, the extreme tensile fiber is down at the bottom, so this down there is gonna crack first, and we're gonna find out at what stress and what moment it cracks at. So first of all, the tensile strength in tension is given as 0.6 root FC dash. That's from section 3.1.1.3. So if I show that to you, so you can see here, tensile strength, FC dash, FC T dot F dash is 0.6 root FC dash, okay? Now, because we're looking as us in our structure, this, this T beam forms, it's gonna form a bridge for the case we're looking at. So this concrete is in, it's in situ. It's, it's um, in situ means that it's cast in place, okay? So we have to change FC dash to this FCMI term. We get that by looking at table 3.1.2. So over the page, looking at this table, you can see that for FC dash of 50 MPA, FCMI is 53. So FC dash is when you take a compressive cylinder,